Good afternoon. We're picking it back up in Isaiah. We are in chapter 37, and we're still talking about um, Sennacherib, the king of Assyria, with his messenger, Rabshakeh, who has been threatening um, Hezekiah and all of, of Israel, saying that they need to worship Sennacherib and, and quit um, worshiping the, the God of Israel, our Lord and Savior. So they're sending threatening messages. So we're picking it up in verse 14 where we left it off yesterday. And Hezekiah received the letter from the hand of the messengers, from um, the Assyrian messengers, and read it. And Hezekiah went up into the house of the Lord and spread it before the Lord. And Hezekiah prayed unto the Lord, saying, O Lord of, Hor o Lord of hosts, God of Israel, that dwellest between the cherubims, and cherubims are angels. Dwellest here means um, sittest enthroned. So, that sittest enthroned between the angels. Thou art the God, even thou alone, of all the kingdoms of the earth. Thou hast made heaven and earth. Incline thine ear, O Lord, and hear. Open thine eyes, O Lord, and see. And hear all the words of Sennacherib, which has sent to reproach the living God. Sent to reproach you. Of a truth, Lord, the kings of Assyria have laid waste all the nations and their countries, and have cast their gods into the fire. For they were no gods, but the work of men's hands, wood and stone. Therefore they have destroyed them. Now, therefore, O Lord, our God, save us from his hand, that all the kingdoms of the earth may know that thou art the Lord, even thou only. They destroyed all those other gods, all those other cities. Show them that you are the true one God. Verse 21. Then Isaiah, the son of Amos, sent unto Hezekiah, saying, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, whereas thou hast prayed to me, instant answer almost, against Sennacherib, king of Assyria. This is the word which the Lord has spoken concerning him. The virgin, the daughter of Zion, hath despised thee and laughed thee to scorn. The daughter of Jerusalem hath shaken her head at thee. This is Israel talking to Sennacherib, figuratively. Whom hast thou reproached and blasphemed? And against whom hast thou exalted thy voice and lifted up thine eyes on high, even against the Holy One of Israel? Kind of how dare you? By thy servants hast thou reproached the Lord and hast said, By the multitude of my chariots am I come up to the height of the mountains, to the sides of Lebanon, and I will cut down the tall cedars thereof and the choice fir trees thereof, and I will enter into the height of his border and the forest of his carmel. I have digged and drunk water, and with the sole of my feet have I dried up all the rivers of the besieged places. That was put there to refer to Egypt. Hast thou not heard long ago how I have done it, and of ancient times that I have formed it? It's still God speaking to the Assyrian. Now have I brought it to pass that thou shouldest be to lay waste defensed cities into ruinous heaps. Therefore, their inhabitants were of small power. They were dismayed and confounded. They were as the grass of the field and as the green herb, as the grass of the housetops and as corn blasted before it be grown up. It's just of no consequence, just gone away. But I know thy abode. I know where you sit down and thy going out and thy coming in and thy rage against me. Because thy rage against me and thy tumult, which is arrogance, is come up into mine ears, therefore will I put my hook in thy nose and my bridle in thy lips, and I will turn thee back by the way by which thou camest. And I love that because um, my hook, apparently Assyrian um, sculptures that they found represent captives, that, that, that's how they led them. They put a hook in their nose. So Jehovah, our God, is going to give him the same treatment that they treated others. Um, I'm going to leave it there because we're almost to five minutes, and we can pick it back up there. That's my new favorite verse. <laughs> um, 
I hope you guys have a wonderful day and evening. I love you. Lots of love and blessings. We'll talk tomorrow. Bye.